Hello and welcome to my YouTube video. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to work two elastic bind offs. They look very different but they're worked very similarly and compare them with the standard bind off. So in this video I'm going to show how to do this bind off and this bind off and I'll be referring to the standard bind off. So let's just see how stretchy these are. Let's start out doing that. I'm going to just pin down the left edge of each one. This is a knit two together bind off. This is a knit two together through the back loop bind off. And this is the standard bind off. So let's just stretch this out as far as it'll go reasonably. Same here. And here. Let's look at these. So, you, the standard bind off goes to here. This one looks like it's about maybe half an inch longer. Same here. Let's get a little ruler out and we can line these up and take a look. So let's get my pin. The pins are lined up on this side. They're all at the same spot. And here we can see these two are longer. This one's the longest. Now these are two ways of creating a stretchier bind off like on the edge of lace. There are many many other ways. These are just two that I'm demonstrating in this video. Okay so let's get right to it. First I'm going to do a little refresher just on the standard bind off. Um, my fabric was worked in the green. I'm going to work the bind off in the white just so you can see what is happening with the bind off stitches. So you knit one, knit the second one, pull the first over and off. And my yarn's not connected here so that first stitch is a little bit loose. But it'll get better. Then you knit the next stitch, then you pull the previous stitch over and off. And that's all there is to it. Now you can make this bind off looser by paying close attention to what you're doing. I have an entire another video on that and or using a larger needle. So this is the standard bind off. We'll finish this. It's only 10 stitches and take a look at it. I always like doing this in the second color because it's amazing to see what the bind off actually is. The standard bind off really does not add any particular length to your fabric. And you'll see why. Let me clip this yarn. Pull this off. There's the bind off. So it really didn't add a row of stitches. Can you see that? You always think because you're knitting those stitches before you bind them off that it's going to add a row, but it doesn't really add anything. It just because the stitches are bending over sideways all along that. So that's a standard bind off. It's not very stretchy. The next one we're going to do is the um, knit two together bind off. These you can find these directions for all of these in both of the um, cast on bind off books. There's one by Leslie Ann Bestor and the other one is by Cap Cease. They have all of these bind offs in there. If you have those resources you can check them out there too. So this is going to be the knit two together, the elastic knit two together bind off because there's two different knit two together bind offs. We're doing the elastic one. So you knit the first stitch, knit the second stitch, slide them point to point back to the left needle, then knit, knit them together. Then you knit the next stitch, slide them both back to the left needle, then knit them together. Knit the next stitch. Slide them back to the left needle. 
knit together. Now let me do this throwing for those who throw. You're going to knit the next stitch, slide them both back to the left needle, bring this needle around the front, and knit them together. Knit the next stitch. Oops. Knit the next stitch. Slide them both to the left needle. Bring the yarn around the front, the needle around the front, and knit them together. Knit the next stitch. This is called an elastic bind off, but it's the knit two together elastic bind off. And it makes a decorative edge as well as being stretchy. I like it. It also makes a fairly flat edge. It doesn't tend to roll. It looks like I made an ugly stitch there. We'll see. Knit one. Slide them both back. Knit them together. Knit one. Slide them back. What this does is just creating an extra bind off loop in between the standard ones. And that's what gives it some elasticity. And I've got that little pulled thread. I'm cutting that off. So you don't have to look at it. Okay. And see the type of edge? It rolls over. And it tends to not cur necessarily curl towards the front. It gives you a nice flat edge. And it is stretchy. Let's compare it. We've got this one. This has very little stretch. This has more stretch. It's not huge, but it is more. Now the third swatch we're going to do the um, knit two together through the back loop. Very similar, but it gives you a completely different look. And then I'll show you a sample of this that I did on a project recently. This one, you can either knit through the front loop or the back. I'm going to knit through the back loop. Knit a second stitch through the back loop. Put these both back to the left needle and knit them together through the back like you would an SSK. Then knit the next stitch through the back loop. Put them both back to the left needle. Knit through the back. And it's a lot easier. It's quicker because you're not having to change the direction of your needle or bring it around to the front. This goes pretty quickly and you can bind off a large number of stitches fairly quickly using this method. So knit through the back, put the left needle into the fronts, knit them together through the back, let me do it throwing. Knit through the back, put the left needle into the fronts, Knit them together through the back. Now you can also make this even looser by using a larger needle. If you want to, if you're one of those people that gets your cast on is always too tight, then go up at least two needle sizes doing this, and you'll get a nice loose cast on, and it will look fine. I split my yarn. Knit through the back. Put the left needle in the front. Knit through the back without splitting your yarn. I'm catching it somehow. Okay. Knit through the back. 
put the left needle in the front, knit them through the back. One last stitch. Knit through the back, put the left needle in the front, and work the last stitch. My yarn's tangled up there. See how it looks? You've got that little, this is where you oh, knit it through the back, makes that little chain across of little pearl bumps across the front. The chain has blips of the other color coming up through it, and it's pretty stretchy. Let's compare it to the other. Okay, here we have, this was the knit two together through the front, this is knit through the back, and they're about the same. So it depends on the type of look you want. Here's a project that I recently did, and I used the knit through the back, and this has color work in it, so it gave that little blip of color right along the top. I bound this off on the wrong side, so when I was binding off I was going this way, but this looks equally good on both sides of the fabric. This is a little reticulate shawl by Romy Hill. If you're interested, let me shrink this down. I'll put a link to this in the um, description below the video. So there you have it. These are the three. Uh, bind offs I just showed. This is the standard, the knit two together, the knit through the back loop, and loops, and I don't have them stretched out at the moment. I'm just stacking them here so you can see them. If you enjoy my videos, if you like my teaching methods, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom of the video, and I would please ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. You can find me on Facebook and Ravelry in my groups called Knitting with Suzanne Bryan. And that's about it. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to come back and watch some more and happy knitting.